Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your big homie Chico Sam Kivulis. Today, I want to talk about um. Well, you guys heard about the sock check, right? About the long socks, you know, the ones that cholos be wearing. Shit, I pass a sock check any days, man. But a little homie asked me the other day, "Hey, why do why do you guys wear your socks like that?" Well. You know how I like to get into stuff, you know, so we're going to jump right into it. So, basically, the socks go way back, man. Um, and Cholo's been using the, that style with the long socks and the long shorts since like the 1960s. Um, in the 1950s, the socks were like normal size, like crew cut sized. Um... The girls used to wear the ankle socks. The dudes wear ankle socks too now. I don't know why. But that's originally a, a girl style, you know. They were called bobby socks or booty socks or whatever they're called. I call them ankle socks. Um, that's what the girls used to wear in the 50s. In the 60s and in the 70s, the tube socks became real popular. I mean, very popular. Actually, in the 70s and the 80s, the athletes used to wear those socks. The basketball players, the football players, the soccer players. Um, I remember back in my days, people used to call them soccer socks, you know. Um, you used to see the NBA players with them, you know. The big tube socks, the old school ones with the stripes at the top with the different colors. Yeah, so... The way the Cholos... I mean, the Cholos weren't the only ones that wore those socks, you know. A lot of people wore them. Not only the Cholos. Um, in the 80s, everybody wore them. Because that's the ones you found at Kmart and shit, you know. That's what, that was the style back then. If you look at a lot of pictures, like from the 1980s and 1970s, you'll see the retro socks. The big tube socks. The long socks with the, like, like the tripped out colors at the top, you know, with the stripes. So... It didn't start with the Cholos. It's not in a, It didn't start with the Cholos. The Cholos didn't invent it. Okay? But what the Cholos did do is they took the long socks and they mixed them in with the long shorts. Okay? So how did that come about? I say about around the late 1960s, the Cholos in prison in California started wearing them like that. Um, mainly because in jail, you know, you usually wear like pants and a shirt, you know, like your prison, your prison outfit, you know, but it gets hot sometimes, especially like in cities, like in Texas, um, you know, but at the same time, you don't want to show no skin. You don't want to show your legs in, in prison. That's just an open invitation for perverts, you know? You know, Big Al's gonna try to take your chon chon, you know? So, you know, just like any other style, you know, it caught on. Dudes, you know, Vatos got out of prison and, you know, got onto the streets and it just became popular, you know? Vatos started wearing them like that on the streets. And basically, that's the history of it. Now, if you go online, People are going to say stupid shit like, uh, well, you know, those, I don't know, this and that. Okay. Those long socks are for uh, people with diabetes and, you know, making jokes and making fun of Rasa and Cholos. Like they always do. It's because they don't know any better. But, you know, I did some research, you know, on it. And basically that's what it, where it comes from. That It was a style that caught on. And it's been around since the late 1960s. It's shit. And I still wear my long fucking socks. Sock check, homie.